Which countries are the most visited? I'm trying to remember the top 10 in my head. Obviously, I can't look it up because that would be cheating before this game, but let's see what happens. All right, first off, we have Zimbabwe versus Sweden. So when it comes to, well, tourism, uh, Europe gets a lot of tourism. So I think the rule of thumb for this game will be probably always choose Europe. Europe gets 2 million visitors versus Zimbabwe at 600,000. Something else we need to keep in mind is tourism is not always coming from the US. Americans love to travel to Europe and Europeans love to travel to other European countries. We have to keep in mind way bigger places with way more population. Where does India and China go? So Montenegro got to assume that Sweden is beating out. Even though these are both European nations, I have to assume. Wow, Montenegro only gets 350,000 visitors. This must be either last year. These must be post-COVID numbers, I'm thinking. Israel or Montenegro just because of uh, Israel. It's of course, dang, 5 million. Okay, so we have to start logging these numbers in my head already. Israel versus Guatemala. Uh, it's definitely still going to be Israel, but I'm still curious to see how many numbers Guatemala gets okay about 600,000 <laughs> Now, this is going to be hard. I really want to pull up a map right now, but I can't. Sierra Leone is a smaller place in Africa. I mean, I'm thinking, like, unless a lot of Nigerians go to Sierra Leone, Guatemala is probably going to have more visitors, probably Americans. Yeah, wow, there's only 70,000. Ooh, two African countries, Gabon or Sierra Leone. Now, I wish I knew, this is where I really need to know geography. Like, African geography, I'd probably be able to figure this out just seeing who's next to more high population centers. I'm going to say Sierra Leone, even though Sierra Leone does not pull in very high numbers. Oh my goodness, what is wrong with me? That is literally me right now. I am James Gordon. So interestingly, both coastal nations, both nations along the Atlantic Ocean, but wow, I gotta assume, yeah, there's just a lot more population here next to the Congo. And again, I'm not so sure, really. I don't know if we can explain why Gabon gets way more visitors. And we're probably never gonna get answers. This is something we'd have to do some really deep research on. Let's try again. Okay, this is automatically a scary one. Benin in Africa or Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea's closeness to Australia I would assume has to bring and Indonesia too. Indonesia's got a lot of people. I don't know, but Papua New Guinea has a lot of beautiful coastline. I'm gonna say Papua New. Oh, that's not good. Yep, I knew that was gonna happen. Whoops. <laughs> the Mark Zuckerberg reaction. We're gonna be learning a whole lot about African tourism today, and that's something I don't know much about. All right, here we go with Guinea and Cape Verde, which Cape Verde is a nice island country. Oh man, I'm gonna get wiped up on. Okay, okay, we got one right. Finally, we got one right. Oh no, these small city states of San Marino. Now, technically, if Italians just walk through San Marino, does that count? 180,000 is nothing to scoff at. These are both very tiny places. I have no idea. Wow, a million. Okay, thank you. I'm assuming those aren't people that are just driving through it, but I don't know. I guess the problem for Cape Verde is just kind of its uh, difficulty to get to. Oh, man, this is a tough one. Ven I mean, it's not tough. It's just this is hard to, because I'm pretty sure San Marino, even the tiny state of San Marino is going to be beating out Venezuela. Not a whole lot of people traveling to Venezuela, unfortunately. Oh, that's, oh, that's just me. Okay, now we have the island of Malta, also a very small place, but it's in Europe. Venezuela is struggling so much. I'm surprised Venezuela even has this much tourism. That's still almost a half a million. Malta versus Puerto Rico, two island areas, two islands off the coast of major land masses. The U.S. has Puerto Rico, Malta, Europe. I'm going to say Puerto Rico. I mean, just the uh, the amount of people that know Puerto Rico. Yeah, four million. Man, that's a solid number for this island. Oh, yeah, Puerto Rico's got to beat Mozambique, right? Well, Mozambique is not too bad. Two million. Mali's a very big country country. Wow. Um, Mali also has some history too as well. The, the Mali Empire. Oh man. It, that's, it's hard. It's going to be hard to pass up 2 million though. Mali might do it. Oh no. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. I just figured there'd be more historical significance there. Atreya. Atreya also another African country. I have to. Now Atreya has some political unrest, right? I mean, the next Ethiopia, maybe Ethiopians like Atreya. 200,000 is very low. I'm going to just say it's a little bit. Ah, man, I don't know. The African stuff's going to get me. It's going to take me a minute to understand these numbers. I just figured location-wise to not only Africa, but also the rich Arab states, like, you know, you don't want some beach uh, opportunities in Atreya. Maybe not, but, you know. Oh, this is a good one. Only because Jordan has the Petra, right? This is the infamous archaeological site in Jordan that dates back to 300 BC. This is actually beautiful. I've always wanted to visit this. The problem is, it's a little bit far for people to travel to, so I have to think more people are going to Austria. Oh my goodness, 15 million. 
million. That is insane. That's the highest number we've ever seen. Okay, so I'm, I'm pretty sure France pulls in about 60 or 80 million visitors every year. So we, there's probably still a lot more room. Oh, we know Venezuela doesn't pull in much. So there's still a lot more room to work with number-wise. St. Lucia. This is horrible. Oh my goodness. Okay, St. Lucia is a small... Is that a Caribbean nation, actually? I think it's in the Caribbean. I was going to say the Pacific. I want to say St. Lucia pulls in more. Oh, it does. By 3,000 people. Wow. I mean, it's a beautiful island. And funny enough, it is right next to Venezuela, too. But wow, they just barely beat them out. Another Caribbean battle here for us. I have to assume Jamaica. J Jamaica is so infamous. They have to pull in some numbers. There we go. 1.3. I've never met anyone that went to St. Lucia. I do know pe people that went to Jamaica. Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. A giant nation by surface area. But I don't know how many people are really going. I'm going to say, well, Kazakhstan started using for tourism to boost their tourism. They did start embracing the Borat memes. Funny enough. Wow. Okay. Well, those are probably a lot of Russians. I'm going to assume 2 million Russians are traveling to Kazakhstan. This is a fun quiz because in a way, it doesn't matter the size, obviously. There's more of like a cultural impact to it. There's a lot of things you have to consider. Like there are nations I've noticed like throughout my channel's history that punch way above their weight. They might be physically small on a map, but they hold a lot of cultural significance. I'm thinking Ireland for one, Egypt as well. Sao Tome and Principe or Ethiopia. I do. I know somebody that went to Ethiopia. I don't know anyone that went to Sao Tome and Principe. So, okay, I was right for thinking that. I guess I should just kind of play this anecdotally. Um, what was Kazakhstan? Dang, I can't even remember what it was. Oh, 2 million. Okay, so it's still Kazakhstan at 2 million. Oh, Mexico gets a lot and it's strictly, I mean, well, there's a lot of reasons why Mexico gets a lot. Mexico sometimes is seen as the number one destination of tourism. It depends on how much Americans are traveling. I don't know if that beats out France, but they're close to France. Oh, Brazil. Mexico versus Brazil. Now, Brazil's gonna get a lot, but I still think Mexico gets more because of its location to the U.S. So I'm gonna say, dang, oh, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's, they, they killed them. I thought a lot more people traveled to Brazil. The Philippines are gonna depend here. How many people from China go to the Philippines? There are Americans that definitely go to the Philippines. I'm saying the Philippines? Nope, not even close. Okay, Brazil still kills it. Oh, man. This is a fun quiz, even though I'm getting killed. Okay, Philippines definitely gonna be beating out Botswana, that's for sure. Oh my goodness, I am so stupid. Okay, wow. This is so hilarious. Like I said, I maybe know the top five or ten tourism uh, countries, most popular tourism countries, but okay, you barely left the airport. Again, the Philippines. Gotta assume the there's not a whole lot of population in the Arabian Peninsula. Oman is definitely a place that people go, for sure, but not as much as the Philippines. We know that the Philippines would be in out Eritrea. Yep, there's not that much there at all. Fiji. It's Fiji. You got the water. What else do you want? It's got to it's gotta be over 100,000. It's just barely over 100,000, but I will take it. Oh my gosh, Japan is up there. Japan might be third? No, Japan's not even close to third. That's only four, only 4.1 million? Wow. This get okay, it's location to, okay, this might be scary. I'm gonna say Japan, but a lot of people travel here because it's south of India. Uh, okay, only half a million. I thought it'd be a couple million more. <sighs> Ooh, again, islands. The Dominican Republic. There's people that definitely go to, and, and people from the U.S. go to the Dominican Republic. I know that. I thought they would have more numbers. I mean, we saw Jamaica and uh, and, and Puerto Rico pull in millions. I'm going to say Dominican Republic is, yeah, so 2.7 million. Okay, that was kind of a guess, but UK is definitely up there. Definitely millions. 11 million. I thought it'd be even higher than that. U.S. is going to be beating out. Or UK is going to be beating out African nations, unfortunately. Most of them, maybe not Egypt. Thailand, absolutely. Tons huge. Thailand is huge. 40 million visitors. That's crazy. What did, wait, did we do the Sweden numbers? We did do the Sweden. I don't think Sweden's beating out Thailand because everyone likes to travel to Thailand. Europeans, Americans, yes. Oh, Singapore, world renowned. I have to assume it's got to be Singapore. Everyone goes to Singapore. It's so rich. Oh, wow. We didn't, we didn't clear the bar as much as I thought we were, but okay. Chad, you can't even travel. As an American, I don't think I'm allowed to travel to Chad. I've tried. 10,000 visits. Oh my goodness. Oh, poor Chad. Crazy because Haiti also, as a nation, it struggles, but it's got to pull over more than 10,000, right? I mean, if their neighboring country, the Dominican Republic, is pulling in 10.7 million, then yeah, okay, it's gonna be Canadian because of the amount of Americans. Okay, there we go. Turkmenistan. It's got to be Canada. Uh, poor Turkmenistan, but now we have Turkmenistan with 380 versus South Korea. Gotta assume now Japan was at like 3 or 4 million. South Korea is going to be less than Japan, but it's going to be more than... Yeah, actually, that was pretty close to Japan. Okay, yeah, Angola. Def Sorry, Angola. There's no way. There's just no way. You're a big country in Africa, but Lesotho, the engulfed nation inside of South Africa, it is completely surrounded. I think Angola just because of its size to be... Oh my goodness. Wow. 
Wow, I am dumb. Maybe Lesotho does pull in better numbers than I'm thinking. Yeah, so yeah, as you can see, this is one of the only nations that is completely wrapped around another nation, and I guess that is going to give all these, just like we saw with San Marino. If you're engulfed by another country, you have way more chances of people, like, kind of traveling to you. Gotta keep that in mind for next time. Starting to learn, like, the tricks and the trade, the rules of thumb. Ooh, Niger can't be having that. I'm gonna say Angola. 200,000 versus what? What's Niger, Niger get? 80, okay, there we go. Barbados is, they're small, they're islands, but it's in the Caribbean. Who doesn't want to go to the Caribbean for a vacation? So, the, the Caribbean island nations that we don't talk about a lot, they're gonna do pretty good in this quiz. I think the Caribbean will probably be beating out. Ooh, that was close. Wow, that was close. Germany. Germany's one of the top places. Oh, not that, not that top. They weren't over 50 million. Okay, Canada, of course. I'm just trying to see where France is. Give me the numbers, because you can always judge these results a little bit differently. It's still going to be Canada, but El Salvador is not doing bad. El Salvador over Mali. Yeah, Mali didn't have much. I forgot that Mali did not have much. Brunei. Now, this is close to Malaysia. What was Malaysia's numbers again? Ooh, this is going to be close. Its closeness to Singapore might pull in its numbers. I'm going to go with it. Oh, wow. Yeah, 1.1 million. Just them being there is like, I think, a key spot geographically. Now, this one might be tough. Uh, Slovenia is a European country, but it's definitely a less traveled to European country. I've been to Slovenia. I really like Slovenia. It might get more than 1.1. To be honest, it might. It's going to be close. I think it's going to be close. A European country pulling in under a million visitors is going to be kind of shocking. Yeah, there we go. We just barely beat them out. We just 100,000. Okay, Yemen's going through a lot of struggles, so they're probably not getting very many visitors. Uh, okay, just its location to Thailand and Vietnam. I'm thinking Cambodia. The uh, uh, Phnom Penh, the Angkor, Angkor Wat. So, bam, there we go, 1.3. They literally have it on their flag. I mean, that's their that that's their major tourist destination. It's on their flag. Paraguay, landlocked in South America. Can't imagine that many people are going to Paraguay. Uh, wow, I just barely, I thought I was going to lose it. The numbers would kind of throw me off there a little bit. Lebanon, in the Middle East, it's a good location. Postal, it's a small country, though. I would have no idea. Is it over a million? Lebanon, over a million. I'm surprised that Paraguay pulled in this much. Damn, I don't know. Take I guess and saying I mean because it's in the eastern hemisphere there's just a lot more traffic over there oh we did it nice 1.9 million there's the people there's so many more people over there Myanmar now this is going to be kind of a tough one its location to India is huge are there that many people traveling also Myanmar is going through a civil war right I'm going to say Lebanon bam okay okay we're figuring this out let's see if I can beat my high score Central African Republic or car a small nation in the center of Africa hence the name I'm going to say I, I don't know how many people could be traveling there just tra okay nice only 87,000 okay we're at 15 American Samoa just because of the Americans in the title oh oh my goodness 900 I know so many Samoans obviously in the mainland I thought more people would be traveling to America Samoa I mean who knows where these numbers are coming from COVID threw off everything I mean this data is showing me in 2017 it was 20 million no 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 sorry 200,000 yeah in 2020 oh so we might be doing COVID numbers this is a lot lower than I expected I just want to see France France has got to be number one right I'm pretty sure okay Brunei I'm pretty sure although Seychelles is good Seychelles is good but not that good actually Seychelles is not that good Brunei probably over Dominica even though yep okay I'll still take that one of the only flags with purple on it Tuvalu it might be Tuvalu I'm hoping a lot of British nope okay it's it's a it's similar situation as the America Samoa as we saw should have known that Finland gotta be Finland northern wow Finland doesn't get that wow that's way bigger than I thought Sweden's beating out Finland sorry Finland but I went to Sweden before I went to, or I went to Finland before I went to okay this has got to be Sweden too right right yeah, I think so. Oh, it's not. I, is Sweden really getting beaten out by Lithuania? What? Jamaica. Bam. Easy. Ireland. I gotta, th I gotta think it's Ireland. There we go. Ireland's a big one. Ireland's a big one. I think Ireland's gonna beat out Chile. We were just talking about, okay, Chile put punches big though. Five million. That's close to Brazil numbers. Tuvalu is not that much. Uh, it was 3,000 people. Austria is 2 million, I think. Oh no, sorry. 15 million. Man, that's a lot. Dang. It looks like Austria would beat Denmark. Two red and white flag nations. I don't know that many people that go to Denmark. I know a lot of people that go to Austria. I've been to Austria. Oh my god, my half million. I've, I've been to Austria. I've never been to Denmark. The funny thing is, it was was between those two countries. I chose Austria. Now I have heritage, I guess, in Denmark, so now I need to go there. Sh Sri Lanka is going to get some nice numbers, but it's Thailand. I mean, Thailand is up there. Okay, Sri Lanka doesn't have that nice numbers. I think I'm overestimating how much um, Indians might be traveling. I always think that their proximity to India would pull in their numbers, but I don't think that's actually been the case. Thailand's going to beat out Bulgaria.
Bulgaria, but Bulgaria is not bad at 5 million. Not bad at all. Bulgaria's going to beat out, uh, yes, Guinea. Just one for, okay, Haiti's going to beat out. Haiti's almost at a million, crazy enough. Ecuador, very small place. Oh, with the Galapagos, I got to assume it's over a million. Yeah, Ecuador has the Galapagos out there in the Pacific, so that's probably the only reason. I think Ecuador is beating out Papua New Guinea, right? Yes. Germany is up there with like 20 million, 12 million. There we go, Germany. Give me those European nations, baby. What about the Netherlands? There's still so many numbers I want to see, but Bangladesh or Ethiopia? Bangladesh or Ethiopia? I'm, I'm going to go Bangladesh just because there's a lot of people there, but nope, that doesn't matter. Dang it. Peru with literally just Machu Picchu right here, 1.1 million. Ah, uh, but Norway. Well, uh, Sweden's got 2 million. I have to assume Norway's pulling in less than 2 million. There's no way Norway's doing better tourism than Sweden, right? I don't know, but Peru, they, I was right about that. They are doing less than Sweden, but they're doing more than Peru, which is what mattered. Here we go, the U.S. Oh, does the U.S. beat out France? I mean, I don't know. I think Mexico's beat out the U.S., funny enough, but that's because all the Americans go to Mexico. So because the U.S. doesn't border nations with, like, huge populations, um, that gives us a disadvantage on this. 45 million is still pretty good, though. Colombia's not doing bad. 1.4 million. What was South Korea at? Was South Korea beating Japan? I think it will be 2 million. Yeah, it does beat 2 million. Tonga, I'm guessing all those nations in the Pacific, they don't get much traffic at all. Tonga, uh, Fiji did okay, but American Samoa, Peru, again, literally the Inca, you can go see the Inca. Ooh, Macau, the Las Vegas of China. It's gotta be a lot. It's gotta be a lot. Yeah, 5.9 million, and it's such a small place too. Ooh, that's a good one. I feel like some of the nations they put together are similar. Because Australia is so hard to get to, that's the reason why I haven't gone. Yeah, their numbers aren't that good. It's gonna beat out... It's yeah, it's going to be here, but I didn't... I, I figured Australia was going to have, like, incredible numbers. I don't think we've seen Saudi Arabia, but Malaysia's at 4.3 million. Oh, Saudi Arabia's huge. Okay. Uh, yeah, probably everyone... Yeah, the... What are they called? Um, the Prophet, the Pilgrimages... I was just about to beat my high score, too! And big thanks to my patrons! Kansas was mentioned. Douchebag, a fat normal, caramel ass. amateur archaeology, the beautiful Megan Edward, Frederick Henderson, headlined, without Inquisitor Jack Zarius, Straven's John annoying friend, Lugsenberg, Heavy, Ride if you the hear pie. this, I love the Mexican 760, and Zany Boy, 